Hello, everyone. I'm Mark Derniak, and the point I'm about to make has been brought up already by Bob and Dr. Bruick, but it bears repeating, and that is that the biggest problem with RGB white lighting today is the green component. Now, gallium nitride is an ideal material to cover this green gap, but conventional gallium nitride LEDs suffer from a host of problems, including high costs, high defect densities, and overall poor performance. That's because currently we grow on small two-inch sapphire wafers, which are not only expensive, but the resulting material is, is highly defected and has a property such that a green gallium nitride LED will turn blue as you turn it up. Now this is a problem if you want a lamp or a display to have a constant color. The cubic gallium nitride which I work on solves this from a material standpoint, so that a green cubic gallium nitride LED will remain that color. More importantly, we grow on not sapphire, but silicon, nanopattern silicon specifically that we get from UNM. And what's really remarkable about this is that the technology is scalable. We can go from small pieces as we are now to six, eight, or even 12 inch wafers in the future. This will allow for higher throughput and ultimately lower costs. So the maturation of this technology will allow us to have a true green LED for use in RGB white lighting that will be able to compete with the phosphors and even surpass them today while being easier to control and allow them to compete competitively with incandescence and fluorescence. Thank you.